So after my visit last week to the roaches on the Staffordshire, Derbyshire border, somewhere there, I've decided it's a little bit better day. I'd come back and have a bit of a bigger explore of the area. Uh, ultimately taking that dog for a walk. Uh, so I just said to the missus I'll just pop out, take the dog for a walk. So an hour and a half later I've arrived at the destination and uh, that's what I'm going to do. So it's still a bit overcast today. Hoping to get uh, a little bit better sky anyway. Right, one of the images I took last week, which is pretty much where I'm standing now actually. Um, I tried to focus stack, idiot me. Set it at f 2.8, and you got no chance. What I should have done is set it at least f8. Um, I couldn't do it. Under the image. A lot of rock climbers here today. So I'm going to probably try another focus stack, so I'll let you know when I do that. Um, okay, let's search for images. I believe just behind us here, that moorland there, which is all charred, was the uh, was uh, a real good moorland fire that they struggled to put out last year in the uh, the great summer that we had. Um, so obviously, if you come wild camping here, no fires. Um, it's surprised now. Um, dry the ground is, I suppose even now it'd be uh, a dodgy thing to do, so it's not worth the risk. Um, so yeah, that was uh, one of the problems with uh, this area with the, the campers and it just all it does gives us wild campers a bad name, which is not good. To respect the area and be sensible uh, and do the right thing so it would be a nice easy place to camp to be honest where you feel as if you're quite remote I suppose you have palm yard in the distance etc but you're remote enough it looks like a real popular path, real real popular um, place to do a bit of rock climbing. Let's just have a look over the edge. Don't like heights so Cuba this way. That's lovely yeah. Um yeah so obviously walkers, climbers, it's still not a great day for photographers I'm afraid. But we'll try and get something. I'm sure we'll get somewhere. We'll see some I'm, I'm heading towards there's a pool up here. I'm heading towards that, see what that looks like. Right, I've got to look after the dog. Find a, a little composition um, near the pool that I found. Ooh. 
to show you what um, I've done with the image. So I focused focused on this area and focused on the rock behind. Uh, it was a very very moody image. F8. Stick them on. Image very 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 moody, which is really what it's like at the minute. I was hoping. I was hoping for uh, the sun to break through to be honest, but I don't think that's going to happen yet. So I'm going to go for another little walk, see if I can find anything else. Um, if the sun come out around this area, I'm sure I could find something. Which, well, I've got the ridge right behind me, and it's, it's just not working at the moment. Um, I will go a little bit of a walk that way. See if there's anything up there. Anything I can pick out. Just a bit of low cloud rolling at the moment, so um, at least we're getting a little bit of drama off that. It's just a shame I want that sun to burst through. Just to burst through and hit one of the peaks. Right, my next image is this lovely uh, footpath. So again, I'm gonna just set the composition again. Get the dog out of the way. Okay. Okay, come here, Coop, this side. Get the dog the right side, and then we'll. Uh, so I'm going to focus stack this. I've already focused it on the foreground. That's my first shot. I'll focus it again a third of the way in. that which it's got to be close to infinity older thought it is there we go We've got a lovely leaded line of the path running through it's a cobbled path running up to the edge with the mist rolling through behind so that should make a nice image I've also done just from in between where you are and where I am. I've just done a pano pointing out over the ridge towards the, uh, the reservoir in the distance. I'll just put this back up. So, and as I was over there, I spotted another image. So, I'm just going to. Move towards you a little bit. This image, as you come round the corner, there's a couple of trees coming out of the the rock formation here, um, which I'll just turn you around. Show you. Just there. That's stunning view. Come on, Coop. This way. This way. Come on. Come on. This way. Good boy. So what I might do, if it works. I'll get a single shot. Or a nice pano. Oh, that's moody.
Good boy. Stay. Stay there. Stay there. Oh, that's my next shot. Okay, good boy, good boy. Right, got another nice shot. One with the dog in. That's probably my favourite because the dog's in it. Well, we're back down in the wooded area, um, but I'm tempted because the other side of the wall, because um, that's where all the fox gloves were. Let's go and have a look down there. Um, I still want to get a nice shot of that. I've failed every time I've tried to get one. I've failed. Um, we was at uh, Anglesey last year, summer solstice, and there was one right in the middle of the picture. Um, they wanted as a focal point, but it was that windy, and we've again sunset. I just couldn't get it. So, um, just want because it's a very contrasting colour to all the green around it, but there's quite a few down the bottom here. So, I'll tell you what, some nice trees here. Mm, maybe a composition, because there's some lovely trees just here. Let me have a look. Let me get at one with the location. Okay, as lovely as that, uh, these trees are, I can't get in the right place to um, to get the uh, images that I want. But just two one trees going into the other, if it was more singled out, I can't single any sort of tree out, get any sort of position of composition or anything like that. So I'm going to go walk back down there. I'm going to go through the wood and then back out again, I think, see if there's any compositions on the way down. If I can't find anything, I'll, uh, I'm definitely going for that. I've got one image that I tried to take last week that I know I can get this week. Um, so I'm going to try that at least. Got one or two different <laughs> compositions, landscape and portrait. Um, see what I like. Um, just makes a lovely scene with the. Um... <coughs> Teddy Pump. Lovely scene with the, the reservoir in the background. And you've got this lovely pinky purple colour popping. So I might just stop and try and get a few more. And I've just spotted a lighter, a nice pink one, which I don't think I'll be able to get because it's not in the right position, but we'll have a look. So I'm going to have a look at trying to get a few more of these and um, just make a just put something different to the image to this. Flower in focus. Just getting a little bit of breeze to try and stop it. Nice, I've got to get out of this. Oh, oh I've just been stuck to bits. What a lovely morning. Oh. 
we're uh, I ain't got the best photos in the world it's not been great light um, I think I've made the most of the situation um, Cooper's absolutely loved it um, and that is definitely what it's all about so glad I've come because I've easily said no I'm just gonna go take the dog a local walk come back in an hour no we've been out for three or four hours um, flew the drone and got some drone footage and all that stuff so I'm really really pleased with the, the day we've had Ooh. so we'll get back now and have a bit of dinner and process what we've captured um, but yeah the roaches is a probably for me now is probably the uh, the more local beauty spots you know it's, it's an hour and a half drive still hour and a quarter hour and a half um but for me that's quite this is as good as it gets as uh, as local for me living in uh, north warwickshire it's not um not got great views let's say it's not as quite flat it's quite quite um boring is the word and it go um so at least we get up in the hills and the see these stunning vistas with lovely lakes in the background. Um, not that I'm knocking North Warwickshire, great place. It's just hard to photograph, very very hard. So um, until next time, uh, which will be hopefully next week on a, on a weekend away next week. All going planned for a couple of nights, maybe a wild camp. Just see how we go probably angle C um, but we will follow follow the, the weather um, but that's the plan next Friday night Saturday night come back Sunday um, somewhere so until next time thanks for watching please thumbs up comment and if you really enjoy it subscribe and um, I'll see you soon <laughs>